like. For anyone watching this who might be interested in getting into YouTube, what are your top tips for making it? Okay, uh, my first tip is always to stay consistent. I think that's such a big thing as far as uh, growing a channel and growing an audience. Um, you know, if if you want them to be committed to you, you have to be committed to your craft and committed to, you know, just having that connection with them and producing content that they'll like and stuff. And then also a huge, huge thing is to just be yourself. I feel like nowadays with so much content on YouTube and so many people creating brands for themselves, so many people that are starting now are trying to base their content off of what they think might be successful. Mm -hmm. And in return, they're just becoming another version of someone else when really you should just kind of, you know, heighten your individuality and just be yourself. It's true, authenticity is so important and people can see through it. Yeah, it really is. And sometimes my advice even is to not, you know, study how people are making their videos or get too much into that because kind of the more you push yourself out of that, the more you're just going to rely on your own creativity in here and that's kind of what makes you stand out. So just do your own thing, upload your videos and um, I find that that's kind of where that true connection starts to come in. I mean, YouTubing is like this whole other world. We've got these YouTubers who've gone stratospheric. What do you make of the success of people like Zoella, who are just huge stars now in their own right? Yeah, oh, it's weird. It's so strange because we all started in our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And so I, most of us didn't even know that it would get to this. Um, and it, it, it's weird because I feel like us YouTubers, well, a lot of us, um, are kind of living like that Hannah Montana double life where when you walk out on the normal street, no one knows who you are. Like you go grocery shopping, you do your thing. But the second you go to a YouTube convention, it's like everyone knows you and you're just thrown into this world where you're like, whoa, it all this attention like is madness. weird. It's so strange, but it's cool too. It's it's nice to put a face to the username. And it sort of makes you look to the future and, and think about longevity. Mm -hmm. um, so PewDiePie, who's got the most subscribers in the world, he said, that he is gonna be leaving YouTube today at 5 p.m. We don't know if he's gonna do it actually, whether it maybe is a publicity stunt or something, but it does raise the question, what happens next? What, what, what do you think happens next for YouTubers? Because we don't know because it hasn't happened before. Yeah, um, so I guess for me personally, that is why I moved out to LA and I wanna focus on other things because I know it's not going to be my forever. Um, I think personally, I'm going to have maybe like a gradual fade out with my channel. I really love vlogging. That's kind of where you take the camera around and you show people a part of your life. But as far as YouTube as a whole, um, I feel like the content is getting higher as far as production wise. Now with YouTube Red coming in and so many series and movies being actually uploaded on YouTube. Yeah. So I feel like it's definitely taken a more uh, professional yeah, level. Yeah, well like awesomeness TV. Yeah, so I feel like it's just kind of gonna become this um, whole nother platform of just really high quality content, but you still have like the at home videos. So I don't know, that is such a hard question. I've, nobody knows. Hi. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick oh. on your teeth.